The newest season of Super Sentai is all cranked up and ready to go thanks to its premiere episode just a few days ago, so let's talk about it. Hello there, I'm Thomas Jujubee, and before I give my thoughts on the first episode of Bakuage Sentai Boom Boonger, be sure to leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts. I want to know your opinion on this insane start to what will probably be another insane season of Sentai, because I personally had an absolute blast watching this first episode. To be fair, I was actually pretty excited going into it. The trailers and the aesthetics, of course, just gave off a really silly vibe, like a show that wouldn't take itself too seriously and kind of go back to the basic Sentai formula of let's just goof around a bit, which I really wanted after King Oger. Not to say I didn't like King Oger's serious tone, I'm glad they went for that. If you want more thoughts, check out my King Oger review. I just think that after a season of that, it would have been fun to go back to let's just have people with tires on their head and do do tire people things, I guess. And almost instantly, my wish came true because like the opening sequence of the show is the Red Ranger just teleporting into a church and saving a woman from a forced marriage, causing like the entire family to chase after in cars like they're a criminal organization. And this whole time they have a spy informing the driver while they have a big robot in the base. Like it's very serious and there's just a big robot there. And then we have aliens arriving with a big car monster and then throughout this fight they just stop and wait for an old lady to cross the street and then they resume fighting they don't even address the fact that they just stopped and waited for the lady <laughs> they just they just keep going and this manic energy just keeps up throughout the entire episode like the car just has a flight mode the red ranger just buys a whole store like he's batman the villains just appear in the store to turn a dress into a monster and then the boom boom juice defeat their very first monster by removing his clothes turning it into a wedding cake prison and then cutting up the cake <laughs> like it's so silly it's so goofy but I loved every second of it. As I said, this is just what I wanted out of it, since the costumes for this Sentai are so silly, I wanted the season's tone to reflect that, so it all fits together very well. But they also kind of play the ridiculousness in a straight, like, serious way, and it makes it all the more fun. Like the gag when they stop for the old lady crossing the street, who is also apparently Boom Boon's voice actress, which is fun to note. They don't address, like, that the villains are stopping their attack to wait for the red light. They don't address it at all. It's just a thing that happens and it just like adds to this I guess world building almost like this is the world we're living in that the the villains in the Red Ranger are going to adhere to the traffic laws whenever possible. Mira is the focus character here and she has moments where like she calls out the absurdity questioning the existence of a tire person but then within the episode's runtime she exists that this car can attain flight and then decides she wants to be a tire person as well. It's already normal for her. It's already normal for us. In general, I thought it was pretty cool that she was the main focus of the episode because like she has a whole little character arc deciding to take the wheel of her own life by literally sticking a wheel on her face. And as an audience surrogate, she's just she's being super silly and goofy. Like there's an explosion and she's like, Yahoo! During her roll call, she like kind of hams it up for, I guess, us. She's always talking about how cool some of this stuff is and it's true. It is awesome. I'm glad that me and Mira can agree. I look forward to seeing more of her. She's definitely been a fan favorite since before this episode started and I think I'm starting to see more fans of her and I think it's cool. As for our other two rangers, I love that they were already established as Boon Boongers, but this episode is the Hashilian's first arrival on Earth. I like that because it feels like it's unique how this is pre-established because they are they already know about the incoming threat and they're already rangers. We don't see that origin, but this is their actual first fight. So we're experiencing all this for the first time with all the characters, just some elements of it are pre-established. Right now, Chasero is just kind of a normal standoffish blue ranger, but it's fine because they did establish him as Taya's partner in the delivery service, and then they're also Boom Boongers together, and I think that's pretty interesting, especially since going into the episode, I was wondering, I thought Red was just like a normal delivery driver, and I was wondering why does he have a spy working for him, but it turns out he's like a unique kind of delivery service, so of course he has a, a spy working for him because he's he's basically a spy as well. They're like two spies, I guess. And speaking of Red, Taya is pretty awesome in this. I have nothing against eccentric Red Rangers, but I love that he's just a, a chill dude. Like, he's super calm. 
and badass in the fights and in normal interactions, but he still has like a little bit of goofiness with his catchphrase like, oh, I, I drive a car, so you gotta take life by the handle of your car that I drive. I can't wait to see how he will interact with the other two rangers, which do get the cameo in this episode. I thought that was neat. I was expecting that, so I'm glad that it happened. I'm pretty sure Orange is like already a ranger from the way he acknowledges Taya's light but maybe he's not and black is just you probably wouldn't even notice he's the upcoming black ranger if you didn't already know which is really cool i like how it's not super obvious they're going to be rangers so we just let the main three exist on their own for now the villains are also not doing much right now other than being villains but what we got of them right now is super fun to me i like their big gremlin pal well he he can be small and big which is kind of cute but i also love the moment where <laughs> the the main two are sitting on the ground and watching like a video footage of the gremlin driving about and they're just cheering for him and they're like goofing around that's incredible they create these big scary monsters and they're trying to take over the world but they're just gonna sit on the ground and cheer for their friend as he's racing i want more of that please i also really want more of boon boon aka boondorio boonderas who they only acknowledge as boondorio in this episode or boon boon as we learn is his nickname and that is how i'm going to be referring to him from now on because that is adorable i love that the mentor of the team is just a big robot friend that loves making curry and voices all the equipment of the season with the voice of Ash Ketchum. I love that he's able to grow big and transform into a vehicle mode that also becomes the main component of the Boom Boonja Robo. I'm looking forward to more of his interactions with the characters, especially when he's like the big robot. He acknowledges he has to look both ways before crossing the street. Just more of that really absurd humor that's just kind of being played seriously. And his concept is something I'm really excited to see more of because we've been told he's an alien that joined up with Taya, so an alien robot that turns into a vehicle is just Transformers, but since he starts off small and it's Sentai, it also gives off Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger vibes, which is my favorite season of Super Sentai, and it was apparently an inspiration for this episode's director, so that might explain why I like this so much. Also, like, the main action sequence takes place in the same location Zenkaiser's first fight was. Some very similar shots are even used, so it really kind of hit me in the nostalgia, I guess. I'm not in love with the suits. I would have put more color on them and of course I do think the tire wheel visor thing is kind of stupid But at this point we've been dealing with it for like three months. I'm numb to it now I've accepted this is what we're dealing with for 50 episodes and I'm just strapped in and along for the ride But like seeing them in the morph did kind of sell me on them Like the way the suit starts with no color and then the speedometer part spins and attaches and unleashes the color and then the dumb visor wheel spins on their face as it locks into place hell yes this is exactly what they needed to do we get a good old-fashioned roll call it has been so long since we got an episode one roll call and just a normal roll call they don't even have any extra announcements they just say their name boom boom even acknowledges it he's like taya do the thing boom pink is like oh that's so cool and that's why she does a bit of an extra thing with hers we are so back overall the action was incredible but like come on that's not really a surprise for a first episode of of Sentai. I'll just ramble off some of the highlights for me. The super speed ability is awesome. I hope they keep this up all the time. I cannot believe the wheels on the back of the suits have multiple practical usages, either an attack or it makes them part of the vehicles, however that works. The big CG car chase action sequence is neat. I do think it was the weakest part of the episode, but I guess if you have a racing car show, of course you want like a big action sequence, but I kind of prefer when they had the real car action sequence. I thought that was pretty cool. I think it's cute that the seatbelt belts on the suits are actual seatbelts when they're in the big cars. The mechanical, like, little cut-in parts that they use during the combination sequence is amazing. It makes the robot feel real, but it's it's obviously not real, kind of. It, it's a real suit. The tire cape of Boom Boonja Robo is awesome. I love how dynamic it is in the fights. And the toy clips onto the back of it briefly as an actual part of the finisher like the toys do. And also the changer itself. I do want to briefly say, I forgot to mention this earlier i think the changer is really cool like i really love that it's a wrist changer thing but to actually transform they detach it and then use it like a speedometer stopwatch thing but then they can also take it off and summon their zords with it but they don't need to use those gimmicks to transform and they also attach it to the steering wheels while they're driving so i think it's very cool how multifunctional this is and it, it makes me really want to buy the toy but let's not worry about
about that for now. This easily hit all the points I could want out of a first episode of new Super Sentai series, so I am totally locked in. I'm going to be doing weekly reviews of this show just like I did for King Oger, so make sure you're subscribed to keep up with my thoughts on Bakuage Sentai Boom Booger, or check out my Patreon for more upcoming Super Sentai videos, and I hope to see you next Boon.